This is what we want to do at Meaning of Catholic. Let's not just use the internet to complain. That is yes. that is effeminate. Stop it, men. Stop just getting on Twitter and complaining. Let's get on with the, the real battle. And I think that this is very important, what you, what you kind of emphasized in the beginning, was that, as St. Paul says, our fight is not against flesh and blood. Mm-hmm. It's against the world, the flesh, and the devil. And I think this is one of the, the most dangerous things about Trump is that I, I voted for, first of all, I voted for Trump twice. I'll vote for him again. I think he's the least worst president in the United States history. But the problem is that he's teaching Christians to fight against flesh and blood because he, he fights like a, like, a, like a schoolyard bully. That's how he acts because he's just immature and he, I, don't, I don't even know if he's a real Christian, whatever. But this is, and then, and then all these Protestant Christians jump onto him and then even Catholics will jump into this sort of fighting against flesh and blood attitude where we're, fi- we're fighting the Marxists with the attitude of Marxists. We can't do that because then we will be overcome by the world, the flesh, and the devil, because we're using the tactics of the flesh. We can't we can't uh, lash out at our enemies without charity because then yeah. we're fall- the devil's taking devil is is overcoming us. We have to fight them with a, a greater standard, a Christian standard of morality where we can truly love our enemies and oppose them to their face, imitating Jesus Christ in the sense that he forcefully rebuked his enemies, but they could never convict him of sin. They could never, and this is what the Marxists always want to do. They want to find some little thing here or there and and make a big show trial out of you. That's what they do. But you have to be absolutely blameless before, so that the Marxists are forced to respect you. They they just, they can't say a word against you because you've been taking care of all these widows and orphans on the street, and then you oppose them. And they just can't, fight against you but if you know when we when we kind of fall into this trump attitude where we're, like, we're just bullying them like like trump bullies i remember he was bullying uh was it marco rubio in, in the debates i mean this is just how he acts unfortunately i mean like i said i voted for him twice i'll vote for him again but he's just his his public demeanor is just totally anti-christian in that sense so that's the most important thing to me is that we need to spiritually form the men so that they're going to fight like christians and not like the flesh so we can then then we're not going to fall into a rancorous attitude. We're not going to fall into unjust violence. We're not going to fall into any of these pitfalls of anger uh, that Christians can get into. So we can actually fight. And I want to emphasize as well. Let's also fight with joy. Let's let's mm-hmm. get out onto the street because we're celebrating the feast of the Immaculate Conception. We're we're celebrating the Feast of Corpus Christi, we're celebrating all the great joy of Christendom. It's not even a reaction to the Marxists. Just, let's just get on the street because Jesus is king in the first place. Mm-hmm. And then we'll, we'll, we'll start to be, then the Marxists will be like, wow, what, what the heck is going on with these people? They're just like so joyful. They're so happy that they have, the, have this weird religion that I don't understand. Uh, I think that that's an important aspect to this as well. Mm-hmm.